Well, it's uh, uh, probably it can be described as uh, a very special relationship between the two countries. And uh, I would say that it is uh, probably at its best uh, right now. Japan is uh, the biggest contributor of ODA funds to the Philippines. They are also the biggest uh, foreign direct investors uh, in our country. And uh, even as employers uh, of Filipinos in uh, the Philippines, Sila na siguro ang pinaka uh, malaki ngayon sa bansa natin of all the different countries, you know. So napaka importante ng role ng Japan sa atin uh, bayan ngayon. Plus, we, that it goes without saying that uh, Japan is the host country of 220,000 Filipinos or probably even more who reside now in Japan who call Japan their home. Well, you know, uh, it's a very, you know, there's a big uh, uh, population now of Filipino Japanese coming up. And in the years to come, you will see more and more of this. Uh, uh, some of them call it Japanese. Uh, the mothers or the fathers are Filipinos and a uh, mother or the father also are Japanese, you know. And uh, they're now at that age where they're now, you know, uh, in the near future will be playing a very important role uh, here in this country, you know. So uh, we have to nurture uh, this, uh, this, uh, this group of up and coming Filipino Japanese uh, uh, students. You know, Ishinomaki is one of the most devastated uh, places uh, during the last earthquake tsunami. And so I think it is only fitting that uh, the Philippines uh, play a role in the reconstruction of that area. The president will be giving a donation to the mayor of Ishinomaki for the reconstruction of uh, their city hall, which was uh, uh, devastated during the tsunami. So it's also a place where quite a number of Filipinos uh, reside around that area. So makiki ano tayo, makiki bagay tayo with the local community. And at the same time, I think the president, magpapasalamat din siya to the local officials for taking care of our nationals who were affected by both the earthquake and the tsunami. Earthquake. Well, right after the earthquake, nagpadala tayo ng mga relief goods. Padala tayo ng mga bottled water, mga blankets, uh, mga, mga iba-ibang mga relief items ang napadala natin. No? And then that was followed by doctors who were sent out there in the Tohoku region to help in uh, talking to those who were badly affected uh, by the, the trauma that they experienced uh, doon. Ano? Kaya ide recommend natin sa presidente kung pwede ipatuloy natin yung, ano, yung tulong natin by way of doctors. Talagang kailangan na kailangan nila. And uh, since marami tayong mga kababayan doon, nakakatulong na rin sila, hindi lang doon sa atin mga nationals, kung hindi para doon sa mga Japanese uh, na nangangailangan din ng, uh, ng tulong, mga, psycholo mga psychologists uh, natin. Okay, I think the President uh, would like to also thank uh, quite a number of uh, Japanese com uh, companies that are now located in the Philippines and doing quite well. Since uh, they're a big investor, they are also employers. Parami silang mga ini-employ yung mga kababayan natin. No? Like for example, uh, isa sa mga malaki ang Tsuneishi shipyards in Cebu. Uh, I think there are close to about 13,000 uh, Filipinos that are working for Tsuneishi, both in uh, Cebu 
and also in uh, Bataan. And uh, hopefully, they will expand their operations in the future. And then, nandiyan din yung Yazaki, uh, which is in Laguna, and uh, in partnership with the Torres family, they are also one of the big uh, employers of uh, Filipinos in our own country. And then there are quite a number of new investors who would like to come in, like uh, the new five-star uh, Grand Hyatt Hotel that will be established uh, at the fort. This is in partnership with the T family, the Metro Bank Group, and Oryx uh, Corporation of uh, Japan. They will be signing an MOU uh, on Tuesday, and uh, uh, there are a few others like Ichio. Uh, they're uh, into housing development. Marami rin mga Pilipino makikinabang dyan dahil they intend to hire quite a number of uh, uh, Filipinos to uh, do the prefab of uh, the homes that will be erected in the stricken areas. Yung uh, Morata is a new locator. This is, uh, they are going to locate uh, themselves at the Batangas, uh, Santo Tomas Batangas uh, uh, industrial site of uh, First Philippine Holdings. And they have already signed up for a 20 hectare uh, lot and uh, there is also, as you mentioned, the Marubeni uh, tie up with the Aboitis group for, a, for the expansion of the Pagbilao plant in Quezon. Pipirmahan din yan sa Martes. Mitsui, I understand, will be investing with uh, Metrobank. So it's uh, a uh, it's a entry into the Metro Bank uh, group. So uh, this is what I am told. I am not very sure of uh, what they will be talking about, but uh, they are a very big player in our country and uh, uh, they're helping uh, all of these uh, big investors uh, from Japan in uh, uh, the funding of their projects uh, in the Philippines. Chairman Sugita of uh, Nikkei is one of the most influential uh, Japanese uh, newspaper publishers uh, in Japan and uh, he will be inviting the president to speak in their forum the future of Asia in May of next year. So uh, his call will be to reiterate his uh, desire to have uh, President Aquino uh, be one of the keynote uh, speakers uh, in May of 2012. JICA is a very important uh, uh, player in our country as they provide the ODA funding of many of our uh, projects, especially infrastructure. And uh, the President, uh, Madame Ogata, uh, will uh, be visiting uh, with President Aquino. They have met before, and I think uh, the President also would like to thank uh, JICA for providing a lot of much needed uh, Japanese uh, assistance for uh, our uh, project, especially the infrastructure. Okay, these are the members of Congress who are uh, big supporters of our country. This is a very important group and uh, they will be paying a call to the president to inform him that uh, they have uh, a working arrangement with their counterpart in the Philippine Congress that is headed by Senator Franklin Drilon and uh, eight other uh, congressmen and senators. Who, and th th this group will be visiting our country sometime in December or January.
So, mga ano ito, these are uh, members of both the ruling and the opposition party here in Japan. Well, I think one of the more important uh, uh, items that they will talk about is the West Philippine Sea. And uh, we are seeking support uh, uh, with regards to the West Philippine Sea since Japan is also very concerned about it as uh, the freedom of navigation may affect also Japanese uh, vessels plying the West, uh, Western Philippine uh, Sea. You know. And uh, I think uh, the President would also like to thank Japan for the role that they are playing in Mindanao. And most noteworthy was uh, Japan's hosting of the visit of both the, our president and the MILF uh, delegation uh, last August. And uh, this uh, hopefully will result into uh, lasting peace in Mindanao. As you know, Japan is very much involved in Mindanao now with their Jaybird projects. They are funding uh, quite a number of uh, projects already, and they intend to increase that funding in the, in the near future. Well, I, th I think there are a number of other items uh, that uh, they will probably be talking about, like uh, it may touch on the JPEPA. Uh, later this year, there will be a review of the Japan-Philippine uh, uh, um, partnership agreement. So hopefully uh, this will pave the way for more of uh, like our nurses and caregivers uh, coming into Japan and maybe to include also uh, English uh, language teachers, which uh, we will now also propose to the Japanese side. And uh, they may also touch on other uh, matters uh, of strategic uh, importance to both countries. Uh, I think let us uh, leave it up to the Secretary of Foreign Affairs and his counterpart uh, for the discussions uh, on Tuesday. I don't know if they will uh, touch on that. They might touch on disaster management uh, because Japan uh, is uh, quite experienced already uh, having this uh, uh, nuclear uh, issue. Uh, while tayo naman, we experience a lot of uh, typhoons and flooding, so th there might be some uh, exchange of uh, information on that. Well, uh, first of all, I think uh, our president would like to uh, express solidarity at this time with the Japanese people because of the March 11 earthquake and tsunami, and to also say thank you to the emperor and prime minister for taking care of our nationals uh, who may have been affected by the twin disasters. You know and that uh, we will uh, support and participate in the reconstruction of the affected uh, areas. Uh, there is so much that we can do uh, by way of uh, offering manpower assistance uh, especially.
Filipino. Hi. Hi.